Hi, this is the last attempt at a demo for a few days. Uh, we've done this before. I've done it in watercolour and in acrylic. I'm going to make uh, a painting of it, but try to not abstract it, but just try to paint it a rough painterly painting with it. I'll put it aside. I'm not, I'm not going to copy it, I'm just using it as a guide. Um, I've got my palette laid out, a uh, black uh, bit of texture paste, I'll put it there, uh, lemon yellow, uh, yellow ochre, big touch of white, alizarin crimson, light red and ultramarine and burnt sienna. So I'm going to try to do this quite quickly. I've, I've got a piece of blocking for paper, it's an old watercolour that didn't go anywhere. I don't think I demonstrated it, it was rubbish. And we can all get them. So I've uh, I've coated it with a, some burnt sienna and a little bit of texture paste here and there. And some PVA glue or varnish, acrylic varnish, just to make the paints spread a bit easier. So I'm going to put a sky in, I'm going to use a bit of ultramarine. The texture paste, let's just flop it on. Texture paste is a lovely thing to use. You can use plaster of Paris mixed in with your glue, with your paint. This is the expensive way to do it. So let's just put in some. A little low horizon, big sky. Bit of alizarin and crimson with a mix there. A bit of ochre. Let's get some paint on. We're going to change whatever we put on there. Bit of sienna in there, bit of warm. Let that dry off a bit. And we'll go in with uh, some darker some darker landscape. A big big sky. So that's the horizon along there, very pretty low. Brush in the water, another brush now. I'm using uh, really black, black, lemon yellow, sienna. So, and just make it lighter as we go. Bit of blue, bit of white, bit of texture paste. See, I'll put some sea in there. Got that nice juicy black and some varied colours. I'll put some cottages against that when that dries. Okay. Now we'll, we'll rough in. I'll use a bit of burnt umber as well, I think, uh, if I can find it, burnt umber. Burnt up is a good colour mixed with sienna or yellow ochre and white for beaches. Leave plenty of cloth with this.
and a bit of darker paint in this because a bit of reflection coming across there. Okay. Let's go back on the sky now while that dries. We'll put any more detail in. Now I get a real big good mix going up there, so a bit of light red I think. Load of white, a bit of texture paste. We'll put in some shadow with a bit of uh, ultramarine and a little alizarin crimson mixed in with the alizarin crimson, ultramarine and a bit of uh, lemon, oh, a bit of yellow, a bit of ochre shall I say. And then we can get some bit of light coming back into there, into the horizontal horizon. That's nearly dry there, so I can scumble over that. Look, very quick. Now some light back here. I'll use a bit of light red, a bit of yellow ochre and a lot of white in here just to get that come up under there. Oh, that needs to be a bit dry there. Put a bit of cloud up, up there, a bit of light. Oops. More grey. Some movement in the in the sky. If you want the uh, the clouds to look like, you need to put a dark against it to get the contrast. Oh well. Okay, let's go in with a bit of uh, uh, some cottages. Fisherman's cottages.
Just some detail along there. That's a little bit tacky there. Well, we'll have some uh, bit, of, bit of cloud, oh, about a bit of shadow for these buildings. Just some bits and pieces as we go off into the distance, just some, it could be anything actually. Well, I'll just let it dry for a little bit. And I need to drag over some sky colour over that, some of this uh, light cloud over this beach. It's a bit lumpy where it's expanded with the, the glue that I put on it. So it's just reflecting the, uh, the tide or the, or the water left in the beach. When the tide goes out. So we just. Ah, oh, just. And then we can. Uh, more dark of, of this here. Just drag that over. And then a bit of uh, yellow there. Okay. We'll uh, put in some little boats or something. Oops, put me, put me elbow in it, in the in the lemon yellow. in here. Don't like that. Go over that. Just put in some bits of detail in uh, in this. A lot of white cottages. Some nice bits of black doors. Just an impression. Now, um, I think I could do better with the uh, roofs of some of these. These here, I could put a, or a bit of. They, they would be slate, so I'm not going to do too much. So, black and blue. The 
shadow, put some little lights back. Change that. Oh, that's a If paper was a bit flatter, that would uh, be a bit more effective. I do prefer painting on hardball, but um, I haven't really got the time to, to do that yet at the moment, so let's just drag it back over there. Sign that, but put it in a mound to see what uh, we've done. Those a couple of little boys wouldn't go astray, wouldn't miss. Really, just a bit of fun, just a quick, a quick uh, impression. Um, I'll, I'll put it in a bit of mound and we'll have a look, see what it looks like. Let's have a, that up there. Uh, excuse my back. There we are, a very quick impression. Let's bring the camera up a bit. And I will zoom in, oops, zoom out. Let's have a look what we've done. Look, just a village of fishermen's cottages on the edge, low tide, wet sand, and a big sky. I'll uh, come down again, get the focus in. So that's all I've done. They just look vaguely like buildings. And it's, ju it's just a, a quick impression, a sketchy, very sketchy. Um, but I don't know, take it for what it is. I hope the, the paper will flatten as it dries out. I'll just zoom you out of that. You can have a look at that for a moment. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick impression. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.